Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minute. Thanks for tuning in. And this is a quick MD Minute of a fascinating article that was just published in the British Medical Journal, which is a very well-known, prestigious medical journal. And researchers at Harvard University looked at three enormous population studies. They're called cohorts. And they've looked at these studies of over 180,000 people, men and women, since the 1980s to 1990s. So this has been going on for years and years and years. And what they asked was the following question. What is the relationship, what is the association between consuming potato products such as mashed potato, baked potato, boiled potato, french fries, different potato products and risk of high blood pressure developing. So they looked at everybody and of this 180,000 people, none of them at baseline in the 1980s to 90s had high blood pressure. And then they followed them and they looked at how often they ate potato products per month. So the people who ate potato products almost never, less than once a month, were compared to the people who ate potato products more often. And what they found after these years of looking and researching is that if you had boiled, mashed, or uh, or uh, baked potatoes, your risk of developing high blood pressure was increased, ladies and gentlemen, increased by 11%. And if you ate French fries more than often, more than the people who didn't eat them, your increase in risk of developing high blood pressure was 17% increased. What they also did was looked at what happened if you substituted a potato, which is essentially starch, for a non-starchy vegetable like a salad. And what they found is that blood pressure actually was reduced. Risk of Developing high blood pressure was reduced. My take on this is that I've written my book, Dr. Joe's Man Diet. I talk about starch. Starch is found in staples like bread, rice, pasta, but also in potatoes. So potatoes aren't always so healthy. And though they're high in potassium, there seems to be a link in the long term with increased risk of blood pressure and probably increased risk of weight. Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minute. Thanks for time tuning in.